Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Another update video on Solana and what is next for Solana. I will discuss the short term and the long term, everything you need to know about Solana. So make sure that you watch this entire video. Before we start, as always, like this video. And if you want to join my trade signal group, click the first link in the description or just scan the code on the right side of your screen. Let's dive into the content. And this is the four hourly time frame for Solana. And since we broke below, uh, let's say, uh, $12.60 our um, upside potential got invalidated so this uh, ABC structure here where we were looking at is uh, unfortunately invalidated so we were looking at this but unfortunately we broke below uh, let's say $12.60 so your stop loss uh, should have protected you right here and that's why we lose stop loss we use stop losses and um, yeah what is happening next what can we expect well uh, at the moment we are still trading above $10.98 so technically speaking this is still a higher low and there's still a chance of a bullish rally from off this point so what do I mean from an Elliott wave perspective, uh, this is still possible, guys, that this is a one two setup and we will move up in a wave three afterwards. Uh, when will this get invalidated? Well, only if we break below uh, $10.98. As long as we are above that level, we still have a chance of a rally to the upside. So if I draw a Fibonacci retracement level from the bottom towards the high here, we can see that currently on the logarithmic time scale, we went below the golden pocket here. Uh, I can also draw a volume profile of this entire range here and then we can look at what is happening well this is not helping us so yeah currently we are trading slightly below the golden pocket here at $12.36 and um yeah, as long as we are trading above $10.98, there is still a chance of a rally. Um, I would say below $11.73, it would already uh, get very unlikely that we will see a rally. But right now, we have still we still have a big chance, guys, uh, because on this push to the upside on the 22nd of November, we got increasing volume. And on this correction here, we got decreasing volume. So it is still possible, guys, to label this as a one two setup so this is a one this is a two and we will move up in a three four and five that is still a possibility and then we are looking for an abc correction so this could be an a wave to the downside this could be a b wave to the upside and right now we are moving down in a c wave that is a possibility guys i would not rule it out only a break below let's say ten dollars and 98 cents would confirm that solana is going down way lower so yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, if we take a look at the indicators on a four hourly time frame, we can see that the momentum got a buy signal right here in the oversold territory. So this basically means that in the short term, we can expect more upside for Solana. We are very much oversold. Also the four hourly RSI went all the way down to 24. And currently we are pretty much oversold sitting at 29 on the four hourly RSI, which basically means that there is not a lot of room to the downside, but there is a lot of space towards the upside for Solana. So yeah, it will be very interesting. Um, at the moment, it's very hard to tell whether we are in a bearish structure or in an impulsive structure. Uh, according to the volume, it is still possible that this is a one, two setup. So in the short term, still a little bit unclear. Only a break below 1098 would confirm a bearish scenario. A break above uh, $14.96 would confirm a more bullish outcome in the short term. So let's see what the daily uh, indicators are doing. This is the daily time frame and um, yeah, let's see what is happening. So on the daily time frame, the momentum is still pushing to the downside, still negative momentum here under a sell signal. Let's see how that will play out. Uh, the RSI on the daily time frame is currently sitting at, let me see, currently sitting at 34 so pretty much oversold still and uh yeah n n yeah we cannot determine where the price is going on the daily time frame only thing we know is on this push to the upside we got increasing volume and on this uh so-called corrective pattern here we got decreasing volume which is telling us that it is po a possibility very high probability that the bulls are still in control in the short term so i would not rule out that we will see more upside from here so if we go to the weekly time frame um 
just to give you guys a very quick recap about what we are seeing here uh, from the start of the previous bull run back in June 2020 Solana moved impulsively to the upside in a five wave structure the top was reached here on the 1st of November 2021 when Solana was trading at 253 US dollars this altogether was an Elliott wave one as long as we are forming a higher low here I can confirm that this bear market is an Elliott wave two correction which is potentially uh, finished or either they're still ongoing after this wave two we will move up in a wave three towards the upside in the next bull cycle for solana so that view remains still remains the same currently we are trading above the 0.5 fibonacci uh, retracement level here at around 12 dollars i believe i cannot see that because of all these numbers here uh, around 12 dollars and 52 cents so we we are still above that level slightly uh, below it but we are still around that Fibonacci retracement level if we lose that level so, uh, then the first major support below us is the golden pocket at six dollars and 16 cents uh, if we go to the upside the first major resistance is at 25 dollars and 46 cents and a break above that level would confirm an uptrend here on the weekly Time frame. So that's what I'm seeing, guys, in the short term. Still a little bit unclear. Pay attention to these levels I told you. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with another update. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I see you guys tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.